Welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. I'm Ross Jennings, and this afternoon I'm with Matt from The Inventor and The Escort. Now, you guys are performing this year at The Fringe, and how's it going so far? So far, it's going great. We, uh, we're, audience response has been great. We're getting great reviews. Um, you know, the show did great in New York and L.A., and you never know how it's going to respond in a completely different country. You know, even New York and L.A., the audiences were different, but here the audiences have been great, but different. You know, they're reacting to different things. Not too difficult, I hope. No, 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 they've been fantastic. But it's interesting because the show is, is, is a, a sexy romantic comedy and there's some very outrageous humor in it, but it's also a very touching story. And it's interesting because in the States, the people love the humor side. They like both parts, but they, yeah. I think in the States, they preferred the, they love the humor and like the love story. Here they love the love story and like the humor. It's a very interesting, the reaction. So you're getting laughs at different, different spots and different points. Where yes, you a handful. Some of the joke, fortunately, because our cultures are still somewhat similar. <laughs> You know, and it's it, the, the jokes are about sex, which is universal. Okay. So those jokes do get over. Yeah. And so, how how offensive is it? The the topic is it's about an inventor who invents sex toys, and he sets up a, a is it a, a sort of a scene with an escort, hires an escort, and then it just follows from that. No. Yeah, basically, he's a he's a millionaire from inventing these sex toys, and he's very awkward with women, so he spends a lot of his money on escorts, which are they're not cheap. Um, and he sets up these fantasies to reenact traumatic events with women in his past to make them go right, where he's a smooth guy, where he's a stud, if you will. Um, and, I, you know, you've mentioned offensive. I don't think the show is quite offensive. It's just raw. I've described it as this. It's, it's frank discussion of certain sexual acts that everybody does, nothing bizarre, nothing off the wall, that everyone's done, did, or whatever, and just spoken frankly, almost as if you went to your doctor. And you know you got to some things just got to be spoken of. So, um, but in a humorous way, in a fun way, in a loving way, you know, in an awkward way. Like in one of my earlier pieces of work, I made a joke about sex in real life not being like the movies. In the movies, it's very neat and clean and orderly, yeah. and you know, and it, and it's not that way. It's just not, <laughs> you know. So is it quite? It's, is it is it one of those um, performances where it's, you kind of thrive off awkwardness and everyone's like, ooh, but then loving it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because one thing that's fun, because I watch a lot of shows and you see, I always sit in the back or any, on this, in this venue, but other venues, I always sit where I have a good view of the audience, because I've already seen the show. And I, I like to see how audiences react. And when you get to some of those jokes, especially if couples come in and one of these things, these quote, embarrassing things is mentioned, you'll see them like elbow each other. Like, I've whipped on that. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, yeah, that's happened to us. Or, you know, you know and I'm not going to give too much away, but for example, the inventions that he invents are to aid in doing certain acts that are very common. Mm -hmm. And we get a lot of questions after each show whether these items are real. And as far as I know, they're not. We made them up, you know, and, and, and commissioned these. And if you sell them. Yes, oh, precisely, because, you know, they're, <laughs> well, put it, when, you, if you, when you see the show, you'll see that he explains how he comes up with these ideas. And they're probably thoughts that have occurred to most people. Yeah. Like, you know, if I had this, this would be a lot easier to do, you know. Again, I can't really. I'm, I'm dancing around it. I can't really give much away. I don't and remind us again, you're performing in the, the is it the Gilded Balloon? Yes. yes. In, uh, in the Gilded Balloon and the Sportsman's every day at noon through uh, August 25th. Brilliant. And plans after the Fringe, do you reckon you'll take your show back to the States or elsewhere? You know, I, it's hard to say. It, it's, uh, I'd love to. I mean, that's, we don't have anything lined up. But right before we left L.A., we actually just uh, shot a web series. We wrapped a production, principal photography on a web series based on our original show that started our career, uh, Angry Young Women in Low-Rise Jeans with High-Class Issues. And we just, this is my, my shameless plug, we just released a two-minute teaser, go to angryyoungwomen.net, okay. and the first episode premieres October 11th. So it's a, more fun, outrageous humor about love and sex and dating, all the same kind of stuff. Well, we'll be sure to catch that. Well, best of luck for the rest of the Fringe, and thank you very much for speaking to us today. Thank you. I'm Ross Jennings, and this is Waffle TV, sponsored by West Bear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck. <laughs>